Hello everybody. Um, sorry, um, I have to apologize that I'm not be able to attend um, this conference uh, in present this year. Um, hopefully I will can do it next year, but um, I tried to make a short video that you just can get an overview of our, about our research. Um, my name is Martin Ebner. I'm from Graz University of Technology. And um, this research was mainly done by Josef Wachtler. He is one of my PhD students and he is studying on this topic as well, already about for three years. And uh, I just will present as well, our uh, research work in uh, this publication. Mainly it's, a, it's going about uh, interactivity uh, in videos or in general in live streams. And um, as I will tell you a little bit later, uh, we had the idea that we increase the intention on, on videos, for example, uh, because um, we just um, introduce interaction possibilities there. Uh, the content or the, the main overview of uh, this presentation is, first of all, I like to introduce uh, something. Then I will show you our prototype. It's a web platform. And uh, then I will introduce the research design. So we did a particular study on that and uh, our results, of course. And then I would like to conclude and give you some outlooks and hints what uh, will be the next steps on our research. Um, first of all, um, as I mentioned before, I'm from Graz University of Technology. I'm currently the head of the Department of uh, Educational Technology. And uh, it's not amazing as we are uh, normally uh, doing the service, the service for our teachers, lecturers, as well as our students. We have about 15,000 students, seven faculties. And of course, they're all related to technology. So that means as a faculty from computer science still to architecture, for example. We are located in Middle Europe, uh, Austria, our capital is Vienna, and Graz is the second biggest uh, city in Austria. It's about 200 kilometers in the south of Vienna. So uh, if you have the chance to come to Austria, you should sure come also to Graz. And that is uh, uh, here uh, our main building uh, built as a 200 years ago. Yeah, the motivation uh, of, uh, in general, of the research and um, why we are doing the studies was um, that, um, of course, uh, we know that as a students um, who are very um, doing something in our uh, classes or uh, interacting with us, uh, they have benefits uh, from attending the class and uh, being as a quasi in attention. Uh, what we have done, for example, and. Um, the problem we have, for example, have if you just provide videos to our students, they are more or less just uh, passive listeners. Yeah? So they, there is no interactivity, of course. And you may all know, for example, if you watch uh, longer videos or live streams, uh, typically from an expert, from a teacher, it's uh, not a, a movie. Yeah? And uh, that means uh, your intention is uh, decreasing, of course. And sometimes as a student just switch off because it's not so interesting anymore. I have no time it's boring or whatever and the idea was that um, how can we increase the intention yeah? and um, our main idea was of course that we enhance it by giving interactivity to the videos and um, for example a very simple task is um, if students for example come to the lecture hall and we have to make an attention list um, then it must be signed and of course uh, we can use this online for example yeah, because also we just uh, need check boxes and uh, then we already know who is attending and currently listening to our videos and um, the state of the art is of course that you use so-called uh, audience response systems for example where you can interact um, with your lecture hall in the same Thing. And of course, we can transport this idea from the offline situation in the lecture hall to the online situation. And uh, therefore, we just need interactivity. Yeah, and the research question, the main research question was, um, can we introduce and also evaluate um, the attendance of students um, to learning videos, for example, by using uh, this interactive components. Yeah, the idea is just as so if we introduce interactivity, then uh, can we also see that uh, we have an increase in attention? Maybe we have an increase in the learning outcome. And uh, if yes, how we should do that, and um, how we can uh, see it from a research perspective. And of course, we need a prototype for that, a web platform who can uh, support this. And then we would like to make uh, so different case studies. One of these case studies. I have today. Yeah. Um, 
what can we uh, measure? Also, so if you just see we have a video, for example, and um, we can um, typically measure um, on this video, for example, when did you join this video, for example, in the absolute time. I don't know on the date uh, 11th, uh, 11th uh, December in 2016 at 1 p.m., for example, that you just uh, joined this video. Then, uh, of course, a relative time, uh, you join it at the second of null seconds or in minute one or whatever. Then, of course, uh, we have also the time of leaving. That means uh, when do you, do you leave this video uh, in absolute time and also in relative time. That is just rather easy that I just simply know when a student just watch a video. And of course, we have um, the possibility to we have to register, so we just exactly know who the students are, for example, because there is an authentication, and we have then a time analysis, a timeline. Yeah, so just as so for example, there is uh, just um, one video, yeah, and we just know here the number of uh, the students. That means so we have, for example, here six hundred students uh, watched this video, for example, and what we can see that it was. Uh, decreasing, uh, decreasing in the watching behavior. That means also that, um, that in minute uh, 1 and 30, only uh, 350 of our students are still watching this video, Yeah, for example, and 600 was just beginning. And uh, we can just also see, for example, if students are watching this video, if there are problems in the videos, it's boring to them, and so on, so, so on. We can also uh, make this list um, of attend also attendees. Yeah, that means also which kind of students watched uh, this video. For example, you see there is a list that is normally typically in the name of the students or the, or the registered users, and then we see uh, which um, how long did he watch, for example, this video on the platform. And uh, of course, we can go more in detail. Also, that is, for example, of course, you can uh, as students watch it again and again and again, and each uh, watch, of course, is also recorded. That means also I just simply know student A watched this video one time and student B watched this video five, five times and uh, he just watched it four times fully and just one half of the video, for example. That is just what you can see. That's the time span that it means uh, this time it was a full watch, for example. Here he just uh, looked at the video for 10 seconds. Maybe he was searching for something or like that. Yeah, and um, then, uh, which, so, so we exactly, if you have a platform uh, who can just uh, monitor uh, the watching of the videos, the start and the stop, then we also uh, like to introduce different methods of interaction. Uh, that means uh, so we can interrupt the video. Uh, and uh, we have uh, so four different possibilities currently. Uh, we have the idea of automatically asked questions. So if the teacher as is just uh, to increase attention, that is a cast uh, that uh, so people are not sleeping uh, behind their monitors, and uh, they get after a sequence, uh, I don't know, uh, five minutes, uh, every five minutes, just a simple question. That can be mean, is the sky, for example, blue or green? And uh, you have to check this box and then the video is uh, moving further. That's the idea to measure the attention of the students to get uh, back because you have doing something to interact with the video, for example. Um, and we just uh, see there is interaction and we, for example, can monitor then that all of our students outside are currently watching the video. Also in, for in situations like live streams or something like that. Then uh, we have, uh, you can ask questions to the lecturer, of course. I can just make a question at exactly this point because maybe I did not understand the student, explain it a little bit better, or I have a question. We can, uh, of course, asking text-based questions. Um, simply, um, what do you mean on this point or what is your opinion? And of course, we have uh, the possibility of multiple choice question at predefined positions. That means as I can take, for example, a recording and uh, see on this uh, time and then on this time, exactly on this minute, I would like to ask uh, this question because then I can see uh, that my students simply understand the, what I was talking about. Yeah, and of course we need um, an analysis feature for the teachers. Then they can just see, for example, this question was quite good and this was uh, not understandable. And he can see how students uh, interact with, with uh, their learning contents. Yeah, um, this um, software is up and running. 
currently. So we have uh, now uh, three years of developing and um, I, I just see that I not mentioned the URL. So the URL is live.tugraz.at and uh, this platform allows you to um, just give us a link on a YouTube video, for example, or to upload directly uh, the video. And then you can, uh, for example, um, provide a multiple choice question and the video interrupts. And that is what the screenshot is uh, showing here, for example. So as you see in the background, this is the video here. That's the video content. And now the video is interrupted and the students get here a uh, multiple choice questions. You had to answer the multiple choice question, otherwise the video will not going on. Yeah, and um, then the teacher, for example, can take a look uh, who answered the questions and um, did it? Uh, did this uh, student it right or wrong, for example? Give it a correct answer or a wrong answer. He had also the possibility to run the video again and again. So we just would see, for example, how many correct answers he did get, uh, get us and how many wrong answers he did. And you see, for example, that um, uh, all students answered it finally correct. That uh, we have uh, one student who did not more correct answers than wrong answers. For example, you can see uh, there is a problem with the students. Maybe he did not understand it rightly. And here you can see the numbers of your correct answers and wrong answers of the students. Yeah, that is uh, the possibility of the platform, of this prototype, as I mentioned before. And uh, currently we are experiencing or uh, try to get experience uh, with this platform. We are uh, doing it in different uh, didactical approaches. So some we have, uh, for example, done it uh, with MOOCs, um, in a embedded so the videos in MOOCs and uh, tried to make it more interactive. And we have um, also done it in lectures at our university. And one of these examples is uh, the course Building Material Basics. And uh, it's a um, course of the second semester of civil engineering and construction management. And um, there is uh, there are a huge uh, number of practical demonstrations. So the students have to understand, for example, how the pressure of uh, structural content can be measured. Uh, and there must be a practical demonstration and they have to make uh, this experiment. And then you can measure, for example, um, the pressure of the concrete or something like that. And we have, for example, the problem that we have a huge number of students. So, uh, so of course, the best thing would be that every student can do these experiments on his or her own. Uh, but uh, we have, uh, as you see, 304 students in this class and we cannot um, give them every, uh, every group the possibility to make these experiments. There is no time, no place, no money for that. And so uh, the idea was that we divide these groups, uh, so these students in groups. For example, we have uh, 17 groups in the end and each group should do one practical experiment. That is the idea. It's just one of this uh, highly number of experiments. And they should uh, just uh, make a video of this um, demonstration, of this practical demonstration. So they are just responsible to make one practical demonstration. They have to put the video. And then was the idea that we that we uh, bring this video to the platform. So, so we have uh, shown it maybe here in the timeline. So in the first week, is the, the uh, students have to find groups. Then we have a final group list also from provided from the teacher. They are creating, um, they have to plan their practical demonstration as how she would like to do it in the laboratory. Then they had to uh, do the filming and they have done a post-production of the video. So, so each group after, after this submission deadline has one video, one video of a typical practical demonstration in this area. And then uh, the teacher, um, of course, watched the video and said, yes, it's okay. And then he added questions. Also, uh, the interactive, interactive component, it's an hour of the videos. It just took one week for that. And then all students uh, get the videos back of the platform and have to watch uh, these videos and they have to watch the videos of course and they have to answer these questions and um, then uh, afterwards um, we had did we evaluate this approach and said okay uh, do you think it was a good approach to, uh, to watch all the other videos also as also other practical demonstrations by video um, did this interactivity help you for example and so on yeah, what is the result? The uh, um, result is that, um, as we mentioned before, we have 304 students, that 50 students um, of them um, 
never did watch any video. So they more or less are dropouts from the course. They just dropped out. So they did uh, more or less nothing. That means as uh, from the green bar, 300 students, only 250 uh, really begin to watch the videos, for example. Very interesting is uh, that, um, of course, um, the most of the students are just watch the video once. So, so there's not a real effect to say, okay, I would like to watch it again, uh, to, to go more deeply in the, uh, in the material. So that is much more typically classroom situation that um, students are coming to the classroom. So they're just watching it, doing the stuff and going, um, going to the next thing. Yeah? And so just, this was also what we can see online, for example. Yeah, um, you see, so again, as so 50 students were simply missing. Um, yeah, um, the missing students were the same at each video. That means there's like really classical dropouts. Um, the students um, have no technical reports, uh, problems uh, reported. That means also it could not be a technical uh, problem. Um, they are more or less also simply not interested in finishing the course. Yeah, uh, we have also a decreasing number of uh, fully watching students. So that means um, we have uh, in the beginning of the first uh, six videos just uh, only seven students who don't uh, watch the whole video. And uh, in the end, we have uh, 26 students of 250. But um, that means also that most of the students are just uh, watched the video as intended and um, uh, did also the quizzes. Uh, Rewatching as the videos, for example, was also in the beginning. The first video was rewatched about, uh, about 60 times. Um, the other videos only 20 times again. So that means that the rewatching um, was also uh, decreasing um, um, over the time. Yeah, uh, what is concerning the questions? Um, concerning the question is maybe interesting that the most wrong answers uh, was in video two. About 20% of the answers uh, were wrong. So that means maybe we have to, um, we should look to video two if there is in general a problem of the video and the explanation, or uh, it is maybe a very hard video, hard to understand or something like that. That means as so you, for example, you see video one, two, three, and also video 17 and 15, um, the videos uh, were um, more or less the most problem uh, were for the students. Yeah, um, the accept them, uh, accept them, acceptance uh, of the uh, intention um, monitoring um, was rather high. That means as we just ask the students, how did you feel about that we have um, shown you the intention rate and so on, because you can visit this in the platform. That is a more or less uh, um, say that this was uh, very good, of course, and very bad. And you see that most of the students are saying it's uh, good or very good, for example, for them. Yeah, and we have also collected some students' comments on that. Um, for example, uh, one said, so I like these interactive videos because um, they help them uh, concerning as a concession and to watch it more actively. Um, then, of course, uh, some students mentioned that uh, the idea of the didactical approach is interesting because they had not go to the lab for each demonstration because it's also time consuming um, and you can also watch the video from your home, of course. And, um, and very interesting for me is that also students mentioned that this kind of interactivity uh, make them stopping uh, watching the videos faster because we have some effects um, seen that uh, students are watching the team uh, the videos uh, two times faster uh, because they have the idea it's not so interesting and just I'm watching faster and faster and this interactivity component helped them to just really watch as a full time in real time. Yeah, uh, what uh, do we would like uh, so to do as one of the next steps is uh, that we would like uh, to think about uh, long time learning success. So, uh, so did this interactivity help uh, uh, help to make the learning uh, effect a little bit better? It's increasing because also I have uh, some questions um, I remember much more. And um, of course, um, we have uh, the typical problem is that we uh, don't know if really the student is just watching the video. That's uh, the main problem. Of course, you have just registered and you have an account. But of course, I can give the account to my friend and then he can watch the video for me. And um, there is, of course, an uh, interesting thing about the digital uh, signature or we just uh, make a connection to the university student management system. Nevertheless, I'd like to conclude 
uh, to conclude, um, we have uh, just showed an approach um, how we can monitor the attention of the students. And um, the prototype um, is working smoothly and uh, very good. And uh, it's a very new approach, I think. Um, and we can also now monitor um, how many times or minutes uh, a student has uh, watched um, and which kind of interactivity he did, for example, in this video. Um, the web platform or the, the application worked uh, smoothly and uh, the students in general like the approach much more than just watching the video. And um, we have now also a possibility to, to bring more interactivity in the online classroom, for, of course. Yeah? And so we, uh, the next thing is also that we really think a little bit more how we can uh, also do different kind of uh, didactical approaches. Yeah, I'd like to thank you for your intentions. Of course, if you have any questions, I'm not able to answer it in real time, but uh, don't feel free uh, just uh, to write us a, a tweet, a Facebook or an email, whatever, if you're interested in our, our research. And I'd like to thank for your attention again. Thank you.